we're going to do a series on databases and so we're going to start by learning about how we can use access but before that we need to learn about what is a database and we're just going to get a little introduction about the details about databases so first of all what is a database well a database is a collection of data or facts that are about a specific topic so you could have a database for school, you could have a database for your CD collection. So it's all about the information regarding that particular topic. Um, everything in life, uh, if you go to any computer program, most 90% or 99% of them I rate would be connected to some sort of database which stores information. Like if you go buy movie tickets, there's a database which stores details about the movies and how many tickets were sold and so on. If you go to a shop, they keep track of how many um, cans of beans they've sold and so on through a database and they keep track of their employees through the database of who's working and so on. So everything revolves around a database when you've got a computer system. So there are lots of different types of databases that you get. Um, MS Access or Microsoft Access is, is a very simple one, which we are going to learn about in this video series. That's what we're going to focus on. But there are lots of others. Um, there is Oracle, which is a more, uh, more, it's better for useful industry and so on. Um, MySQL, and there are tons. If you go through all of them, there are, there are so many different databases and each of them have their strengths and when, what they're best used for. Uh, but as I said, for this video series, we're just going to focus on Microsoft Access. So when we talk about a database, what is actually in a database? Well, there are different aspects. It's not like a Word document, which is just one file, which is a whole bunch of pages. A database has a whole bunch of different elements in it. And one of those elements, and the most important element, is the tables. The tables are used to store data focused on a particular aspect of the topic. So, for example, if we had a school database, we would have a table storing the information about the students. And then we would have another table about the staff. And then we could have another table about the students' marks and then the subjects and so on. So you, you basically divide each of the different aspects of the topic into different tables. And there's a way of connecting them in such a way that you can... Uh, not have to use too much data. So that's the, the crux. Everything revolves around the tables. Or that's where you store all the information. Everything else is going to try access that information. So the next aspect is the queries. Now that's a way of displaying just the relevant information that you want to see based on criteria and conditions because you could have tons of information in those tables. You, it's going to be difficult for you to find exactly what you're looking for. If you've ever watched a sports match, sometimes they will put on the screen, hi, this, this player has, has gotten this many points against this team in the last three or four games. Now, what they've basically done there is they've got a table which has all the information about all the games of everyone who's played in that sport of, for that league or for whatever, and they have someone at the back running a query that's just going to get that particular player that many points they've scored and against that particular team and that that way they've narrowed down the, the information to just the information that they want if you go to your bank and you want to get your banking details they've got a, a database with everyone's bank uh, banking details and all the transactions they've done they are doing a query to get just the information that relates to your bank account onto your particular account that you're referring to so those are queries then we have forms, which is just a nice way to view the information. Instead of seeing it in a, a table format, it's a nice aesthetic way to see. Normally, we see the records one at a time. Um, it's, it's more aesthetic. We can view it. We can actually edit the data that's connected to the tables. So we use forms for that. And then there's a report, which is a way to organize or summarize the information in some way that we can print it in some sort of document. Now, we will cover all these aspects in different videos. Today, we're just looking at the introduction into a database, and we will focus particularly on just getting a little feel for what's involved with tables. So that's how we will go. So here we've got an example of a table that you could find in an access database. And the first thing I want to highlight is just a couple of key words so you know what we are referring to. Um, and the first thing is there, you see the top there, the tab, that is the name of the table. So that's when we refer to the name of the table, that will be over there. So you can see we've called this table TBL data. We give it like a little prefix, like TBL, so that we know that it's a table. And if we use a query, we use a different prefix for that so that we know what we are referring to. So that's TBL data. Then, what do we have over here? We have a column, and that's the surname column. Now, what is a column referred to in a table? That's called a field. It's a set of data values 
of a particular type. So this is the surname field. So this column will store all the surnames. And the column next to it, you'll notice, is the birth date column. And that will store all the birth dates. And that will be a different data type. So a surname might be text, but the birth date will be a date type of uh, data. So each column could have a different type of data stored in it, but it's related to a particular set of values. Okay, so that's the field. So each column is a field. Now, if I look at the row, let's take that first row. There you can see that whole row is what we refer to as a record. It's a group of related fields for a specific entry. So as you can see, this table has information about people. They've got their first name and their surname. So that row is the record for one person. And we store their first name, we store their surname, their birth date, and all the details about them. So each of those columns is a field. Okay, but we store the surname field for this record is just one value, it's Sexton. For the birth date field, it's just the 1st of February 1980. So that we can store all the details for, of those people in the different fields in one record. So when we refer to a record, we refer to the rows. And when I refer to a field, we refer in technically to the column. Now I've opened up a database here. Um, in our next video, we'll show you how to create a database. But for now, let's just have a look. So when you open it up, you'll see at the side here, you've got a list of all your objects. Now I've only got tables, but if I had forms and queries and reports, they would appear here as well. And so here's, I've got two tables. I'm going to look at this TBL data table. So I'm going to double click on the table just to see what it looks like. And when I double click on it, you can see, there we go. There we can see all the different information. So we've got these different, remember what we said, these are the fields and these are the records. So that is this person's record and the details about them. And you can see we can go on for quite a while about the different types of things about them and keep going. Okay, so this is what a table looks like. Now, if you want to change things about like what 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 type of data can be stored in here or the name of a, of a field, um, you'll see there's different types of views over here. So over here, when I click on view, I can go to design view. And this will show me what the fields are called, what their data types. And if I click on each one, we can have all these properties about them. In other videos, we will learn more about the properties over here that we can change, that we would want to change. But yeah, we can specify what they are and we can have a little description as well. We can say the description is nice. I don't have to have one, but it's nice, especially if you're working on a database that you're going to come back to. You forget about what, how the data is stored in there. Like what does this division mean? You might want to say, yeah, division means A, B, and C for the different divisions. Also, if you work with lots of people, maybe you want them to know what the fields are for so that they can understand how you design the database. So yeah, we've got our fields. You'll notice that our field names are all um, one word, or if we have two words, I'll keep them together, or you could use underscores. That can also work, but try to keep them all one word. Same with your names of your tables. Don't have spaces, because that does make a problem later on. Um, you can, but it's not ideal. Um, and so things like that. So there's, we can see those details, and that is all in the design view. Now I'm going to go back to the, ta the data sheet view, where we can see all the data. So this is all the fields. So if you want to enter in the data, you'll see at the bottom here, we've got these different little controls where I can move through the records. If I don't want to click on them, I can move to the very last record. So you'll see there's a hundred records in here. And if I click on this last one here, I can enter in a new value or you can click on that little button there to insert a new record. So if I type in here a new record, I can enter in new values for a new person and make sure that I put in a first name, a surname, a date of birth, and so on. So like if I type in Mr. Long, obviously my first name is Mr. And then I'm going to come over here and type in Long and my date of birth. Uh, let's pretend that I'm, I'm, I'm born on the 21st of November. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm just going to change that here to, I want to be born in the year 2000. Yes, I'm 21 and I'm in division A, and so on. And you can fill out all these details as you go along. Sometimes they will allow you not to fill it in. So they, some of them say you can leave it blank if you want. Um, so I'm going to, like I think staff ID, I'm going to definitely put in a staff ID, 169706121. I'm just copying the one above it and just add in a new value there. So we've got a new staff ID. There's my staff ID. Boom. So there we go. So there's my record. I haven't filled in everything. And when I click away, you can see it saved it. And I can just click on the save button to make sure that it's up to date. So these are things I can do in a table. I can also, if I've got like a thousand records and I'm really trying to struggle to find something, um, you can go and find something in a particular record or you can right click on a record and go find 
in this record now i want to go find i want to find what i want to find uh mr because i know there's a mr first name find boom it'll take me to the record that's got mr long in it so you can do things like that you can also click on things and you can sort them so you can hey sort bar from a to z or z to a so you can do little sorts if you want um, you can hey, you can also do what's called a filter where you can say hey we've got a b and c here i just want the a record so i'm going to deselect b deselect c and that way i've only got the a records now i'm just viewing just those records you can see it says a filter there the data is still there the other stuff's just hidden so i can just click back on there and i can uh, clear the filter for the division to get everything back maybe i want all the people that are in the a um, division that are married which means it must be a yes so i don't want the no's so there we go now i've got all the division people that are married so there we go so you can clear filter from division and you can clear this from married and now we got back to the original data so that's how you can do your little filters you can also do filters over here so there's like an advanced filter if you go advanced filter sort and you can go and select i want division to be an a and i want uh married to be a yes now if this is confusing don't stress about it because when we do queries you'll see how this looks and then i can go and put the filter on i can apply the filter boom and there we go we just get the exact same data that we had and then i can go hey i want to clear all filters you can clear all of them over here as well so that's how you can do filters a filter is very different to a query a filter is just viewing the current data in the table um, just selecting what you want where a query you actually save the the final information in a separate area almost okay and then another thing that you can do which is quite cool is like over here you can change so how they look i'm going to click on this little little part there and you can change if it looks raised or sunken or something like that you can change which grid lines and the colors of everything so all those properties are over there you can all change them over there boom and maybe if i just want to have hey you know i want to i want some quick information i want to find out yeah i see these people have got outstanding amounts i want to know what the average outstanding amount is and so like i don't want to do a query anything i can click here on totals and go hey totals it'll take me to the bottom here and you see there's a total that's just been added to the bottom. I'm going to go here to the outstanding amounts, click over here and select, I want all, I want the average outstanding. And so there, that's the average outstanding. Well, if I want to find the biggest amount that's outstanding, I can select the maximum so that someone owes 1,500. And so on. So you can do that type of thing with the total. That's just quick information that you want to look over there. So there we go. So that's just the details about our tables. As I said, you can change things over here. You can go find records. You can edit the records over here. Um, it doesn't look great like this. You would, that's why we're going to learn about forms to make it look a bit nicer to view all this information. But there we go. That's where all the, the meat of the database is. And you can change your different views. And in our next video, we're going to learn about how we create a database, how we create a table, and how do we start creating all these fields and so on. Okay. So there we go. That's your introduction into databases. For more videos in this video series about access, as well as other videos on Excel for CAT, you can go to our YouTube channel, um, follow us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. Please like and subscribe our videos. We'd love to hear your comments and tell us what we can do to do better and what you like about them. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.